Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 15 of the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series. So today we're going, we're going to look at something called King. And before that, we are going to talk about something called an alpha channel. So let's say for example, if you have two videos, I'm just going to copy and paste the same video over here. And let's see how this works. So if you have two videos, let me resize this so you can see a double layer video right here. This and if you go to the effect control, what you can see is something called opacity. So if I were to drag down the opacity right here, you can see some level of transparency there. So if I were to bring down the opacity to zero, then everything is transparent. And if I were to bring the opacity to 100, then everything is opaque. So let's just hide the layer beneath and let's see this layer right here. So now I'm going to see something called an alpha channel for this. So let me just uh, restart this out. Let me go to workspace and then reset uh, current workspace, right? Reset to save layout right here. All right. Okay, there you go. So over here, I want to see something called an alpha channel for this. Uh, so I just click on the rent icon right here. And now I'm in an in a composite video. So if I go to alpha, then you can see that everything is white. So over here on to the effect control. So let me bring out the effect control right here. So let me go to effect control uh, for this video right here. So if I were to bring down the opacity, you can see that it turns gray and down to zero, it goes black. So up and down and medium. So let's say uh, transparency, uh, if it is zero, it becomes black. And if I were to bring it to 100, it becomes white, which is opaque. And 58 and 50 grayish color is a semi-transparent or semi-opaque. So this is how alpha channel actually works. So what I want to do here uh, on this channel right here, let me just turn that on. Let me go back to the wrench and then click on the composite video right here. I want to do something called keying. So keying, keying is actually uh, better in After Effects. So for that, please do see my After Effects Alpha Channel lesson. Uh, but basic keying is even possible in Premiere Pro, but, uh, which does an okay job. So in order to key this, you have to go into a video effects and you have to go under keying. So under keying, you got a lot of uh, keying option over here, but the common one that we I want to use is color key. So let me just drag that in and over here in the color key, what you can do is you can select the color. So right now it's set to blue, so nothing is blue right here. Let me just check the color picker and click on the object right here. So you can see that similar colors are starting to get removed. And if I were to increase the color tolerance right here, you can see that the color slowly gets removed and everything becomes transparent. So if I were to increase the color tolerance, you can see that the edge thinning actually increases. And if I were to increase the edge thinning, you can see that the edges are getting cut off. And if I were to increase the feather, you can see the feather uh, and edges are becoming softer. Now what you can do is you can add multiple layers beneath it. So if I were to take the same video, uh, drag it down below, for example, uh, then let me just drag the video down over here and move this around. Okay, you can see that the top one, the top layer, uh, which I applied the keying on is now transparent and it works individually now. So you can see that this is how actually works. And then you can use this for keying backgrounds. So if we were to go into the alpha channel for this, right now I can actually see some yellowish color. The candle is actually white right now, so I can see an alpha channel like thing. But if I were to click on the wrench and go to alpha, uh, you can see that everything that is um, opaque is seen over here and the green is removed. So if I were to decrease the color tolerance, you can see that everything starts becoming white. And once I increase the alpha channel, uh, slowly deteriorates and then goes to black, which means the area is transparent. So this is how alpha channel works and keying works inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.